Well, tonight we're hearing from more women who are coming forward with claims they were sexually assaulted or harassed while working at Cedar Point. The women say they feel the amusement park ignored or discouraged them from reporting these complaints, something Cedar Point is now addressing. All of this follows a joint investigation last month by 10 investigates and our sister stations, WTOL in Toledo and WKYC in Cleveland. That reporting uncovered more than two dozen reports of sexual assaults dating back to 2017. Here's Chief Investigative Reporter Bennett Haverly. Since 2017, 27 reported sexual assaults involving employees living and working at Cedar Point, a list that has now grown to 28 after Sandusky police took this latest sexual assault report two weeks ago. Since our first story aired, more employees have come forward with complaints about sexual harassment and a culture of alleged sexual assault that dates back decades. He made me feel very uncomfortable. He was asking me sexual questions then, and then another employee walked in and he walked out. Brittany Dunlap said she was recently fired from Cedar Point after reporting how another employee harassed her. HR called me in on Saturday after I worked, and she told me that, that yeah, it was an appropriate behavior, um, that it was sexual harassment, and that the, that a behavior isn't appropriate, but he was a team leader and they cannot afford to lose any team leads at the moment. Our reporting partners at WTOL in Toledo also talked to this woman, who we are not naming. The woman we're calling A says she was raped in a Cedar Point dorm in 1994. He wouldn't stop when I said no. And then I just blacked out. The woman said she reported the assault but lost her job because she was 18 and had been drinking in the dorm. She says she became pregnant and later gave birth to her son. And they're still not doing anything to change it. And I have living proof of what happened to me. Their voices represent two more in a growing chorus of others who say they were either sexually assaulted or harassed and felt let down or discouraged by Cedar Point officials from reporting these incidents. I was told that it was my fault for being in the dorms too late. And that was all that came of that. And they said HR is always there willing to help you. And it just makes me feel like they're actually not. After recent attempts to reach Cedar Point officials, a spokesman sent us this statement that read in part, quote, the safety of our guests and associates is at the forefront of everything we do. It went on to say, we feel it is important to reiterate that every associate who feels unsafe in any way is welcome without exception to discuss with management. In no way are any associates discouraged from escalating any situation that may make them feel uncomfortable. But the park statement sits in conflict with what these past employees have told us, an issue we took to the state lawmaker who represents the area. As a large employer of that area, though, shouldn't they be better stewards of their employees if they come to them with complaints and say, hey, this happened to me, rather than, than essentially what these victims say happened, which was that they, they fell on deaf ears? Yeah, I would hope. I would like to hear the other side from Cedar Point. I would like to hear the whole story before I myself make a judgment. Uh, to the extent those types of claims fell on deaf or complaints rather fell on deaf ears, that would be unfortunate. However, again, I'd like to hear all sides of the story and a full investigation be thoroughly completed before anyone jumped to conclusions. Bennett Haberly, 10 Investigates. 10 Investigates still wants to hear from Cedar Point officials. A reporter from our sister station, WKYC, recently visited the home of the Cedar Point housing director, hoping to talk to him. There was no answer, but we later received a letter from an attorney who now says he represents that employee asking us not to contact him. 10 Investigates has also learned that the city of Sandusky has been holding meetings with Cedar Point officials to address the incidents. If you have a similar experience at Cedar Point or have something else you would like to share with us, you can contact Bennett and the 10 Investigates team at 10investigates at 10tv.com.